So what is up everybody? It is Rodak from Rodak Survival and we are back with some more video today. Now today guys, things are going to be a little bit different. I don't know. I'm sure everybody has heard by now if you're watching this video and you have Snapchat, you've seen this thing called YOLO. So essentially what it is is people can ask you questions but anonymously. So over the past day or two, I've been putting on my Snapchat saying, hey, I wanna do this for a video, ask me your questions, and I will put them in the video for today. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. So without further ado, let's go ahead, grab my phone, and I'll go through some of the questions. All right, guys, so we got my phone open, and we're gonna go through a few of these here together. So guys, if you guys wanna send me any of these, if these videos do good, and you want to have your questions submitted in a video, my Snapchat is down in the description, so you can go down there and find me through my username and ask me some of these questions yourself so like I said without further ado let's just hop right into it all right so first question we got was where did you get your YouTube name from all right so it's actually kind of kind of cool and kind of serendipitous how everything kind of happened so I had known that I wanted to start a YouTube channel I had let some of my friends know my family and everything and I was just like I just don't know what to name it and I was thinking so hard so hard so hard writing down so many different names trying to figure out something that would work for me and at that time I was still trying to get back into playing football get back into trying to play college football and stuff of that nature so trying to figure out a name went on for like two weeks and I just couldn't think of anything I was like ah oh, it didn't sound right or just whatever it might be and then all of a sudden I was at the football field one day and it was my first time back after being, I think, after being sick or, or some kind of injury or something like that. And, and so one of my hashtags on the picture that I posted was The Revival. And then instantly it just hit me and I was like, Rodex Revival. Because this is basically me trying to change my life and then also wanting to help other people change their life. So this is like our revival. So it's like my revival plus anyone else's who can gain anything from this channel. So I was like, that's it. Boom. I know that's what it's going to be. And it's been Rodax Revival ever since. So thank you and I appreciate your question. It's actually pretty fun to go back down memory lane and to think of things like that. Alright, so next question we got here is what is your favorite memory? That is a difficult question because I have a lot of great memories. We all have tons of great memories and bad memories. But I'm going to have to actually say it was building a barn from my own two hands with my grandfather. He is no longer here. but. Granted, it wasn't, it's like one whole big collective memory. I remember I had gotten in trouble, so I went and spent the summer up at my grandparents' house. And they, they have a bunch of land out there with horses and cows and things of that nature. So um, we were going to have to redo this barn. And I remember I did not want to do it at all. I was somebody who was, you know, I, I it's just not something that I wanted to do. And that's not how I wanted to spend my day. But he was a very tough guy. He made me get out there and do it with him. And it was one of those things where... There's plenty of times where you hated it during the day, plenty of times where you loved it, but once it was all done and you saw the whole thing as a as a big collective piece and say that like I built that with my own two hands, it was actually it's actually an amazing memory and that was the last time my grandfather and I ever got the chance to do anything because shortly after that he was diagnosed with cancer and shortly after that he passed away. So that's got to be one of my favorite memories of, of my entire life. Again, thank you a lot for your question. All right, so next thing we got here, it actually isn't even a question at all. It's just a statement and it says, I always thought you were super hot. Oh, really now? No, I'm just playing, but do, hey, I really do appreciate your comment. Um, I'll tell you, I take any compliments I can get, so... <laughs> So, thank you again for your comment. Let's head on to the next one. Alright, next question. Have you ever had an encounter with a stranger that made a big impact on you? I've had a few of those, actually, and it really wasn't as far as what they said or anything. It was more of the energy and the vibe they gave off. And it, it seemed to always happen when I was having a bad day, and it's the reason why I wholeheartedly believe in the Law of Attraction. Guys, if you don't know what the Law of Attraction is, go read up on it, go read the book. It is great, it will make you have a different mindset on life. But the law of attraction is simply, is simply positive energy attracts other positive energy. Negative energy attracts other negative energy. And these times these people always had these effect on me was when I was seemed to have a bad day but I was trying to have a have a good mind about it but maybe I didn't believe it but I feel like these people were we were meant to cross paths in a sense because I know that I'm, I'm always trying to be as positive as I can and so those days where I was having a bad day I got around these people that just had and these people that I crossed paths with just had such a positive impact and such a positive outlook on life 
and they were probably having worse days than I have and I know a few of them were and they were just random strangers I met but, but so much of their positive energy just it was given to me and it just changed my whole outlook on things of like I'm really not having a bad day I really don't have that much to complain about I have a roof over my head I have food, I have a vehicle, I have a job, all these things, like what am I actually complaining about? But great question and I really appreciate it. Last one, most memorable good or bad thing anyone has said to you? So I'll just go ahead and do both of them. One of the worst things I've ever had somebody tell me and this person, I don't know what they're doing nowadays, but they're always, their mindset was always that money equated to happiness and it, and it really doesn't and they kind of started to realize that after a while, but they were so far dug into their own deep hole that they really you know it's really taking a toll on them so I hope they're able to fix it and realize that but one of the worst things I've ever heard was somebody tell me that their money is equated to their happiness so that's that's not what it is guys like happiness has so much more to go into than just money money will not make you happy all right and lastly guys the best piece of advice I've ever got um, I'll go with one that was a little bit more recent. I've gotten a lot of advice in life, but one of the best pieces of advice I've ever I've ever heard or ever or someone has ever told me. Everybody loves the feeling of being motivated, but nobody loves it enough to know the feeling of being successful. So essentially what they're saying is everybody loves to feel motivated and want to get out and go do something, but they don't love it enough. They don't love the feeling enough to want to go out and actually do something about it because they're maybe afraid to fail or whatever the case may be because the thought in their head makes them feel a lot better because in their head they can have their dream body or dream anything but to go out and actually do it is hard work and like I said you might be afraid to fail things of that nature but that is gonna be it for the video today guys I hope you all enjoyed like I said if you want to send me some more of these my snapchat is down in the description so I hope you all enjoyed if you haven't already hit that like button if you haven't already as well hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in a later video Peace.